Hey Jody here, this week's video is about a 2 inch Alright, we're getting ready to light up with the 7018 rod here and this is this is where I failed my first test. This is actually the first test that I ever took, real test anyway, uh, and I failed it by blowing through after the root pass. So I had mine set on about 90 amps and it was too much for a light root pass. You don't want to do that. So we're running 80 to 85 amps here, uh, just just a little bit of cushion. So I got a fairly heavy, heavy root pass in there too, and that makes a difference. So we're not really at risk here for, for blowing through that. But I saw that puddle quiver, and it went through, and I was down the road. Once again, if you look at the, the little technique Andrew is using, Backing into the puddle just a little bit and pausing at the top helps prevent undercut. So it's sort of a little series of cursive E's. I'll show a diagram in just a little while, just in case you aren't recognizing that. But you can watch Andrew reposition his body, aim for the top of that, or aim for the center of the pipe as he's coming up. Let's look at that in fast motion here. It's easier to see. Starting at the bottom, you can see right away he's having to reposition. That's that's the gig when you're doing 6G tests, especially in 2 inch and smaller. You can see he's aiming for the center of the pipe. That means changing his hand and wrist positioning. There you, you saw he struck the arc about 3 quarters of an inch in front of the, the bottom of the previous side weld. And then just pretty quickly went right into it. Trying to keep all arc strikes confined within within the weld area so that they're welded back over. And right here you watch Andrew's leg kind of slide as he was talking about before. He's propping with that uh, left hand and gradually moving his body around so that he maintains a good line of sight on the puddle. Andrew's young, so he's got his face all up in it. I couldn't even see the puddle if I was that close to it these days. All right, that's the finished uh, single bead version. And didn't have time to film the arcs on the dual bead, but sometimes it takes more than one bead. And uh, same, same techniques work. All right, here's just a few key points to remember, because this little 332 6010 can be cantankerous. So your, your gap and your land affect how much amperage.